Well, hello, Life Path 8, and welcome to your monthly numerology here at Readings at the Roundtable. I'm Jennifer. That was Mercury. I have Jasmine over here taking a nap, and I have Mouse sitting over there staring at me with disgust in his eyes because of Mercury. What are you going to do? I mean, semi-feral cat, he's a little mad. I mean, he, he, you know, he and Badger used to be in here together all the time. And he and Badger started getting into it. So now Badger's just in the house all the time. Mouse definitely has some territory issues. Maybe he's a life path eight. I know. I have some jokes for you. I do. But let me tell you, life path eight, this is your year. This is definitely your year. We're stepping into a 44-8 year. And if you want to look back and see what like eight years have been like for the past few of them is 2015, 2006, 1997, 1988. I'm not going any farther because then we're getting into the times where some of you were born. And I don't want to age me anymore. So Life Path 8, you and Life Path 44 are definitely going to be feeling this the most. You're going to be feeling the vibration of this year more than any of us because it is your year. The great thing is, is that, well, for you starting off this year, you're tripling down on this energy. You're a Life Path 8, your numerology is 8 for this month, and you're in an 8 year. So all year long, you're going to have an undercurrent of not necessarily working um, against your shadow side, but I think you should be working with it, not enhancing the negative, but working with it to see if you can bring out the positive in your shadow sides. And yes, there is positive in, your, in the shadow effects. There is. So this year in particular for you is a lot of abundance. It truly is. Um, and I'm not going to dive deep into this here because I did on uh, the For All Life Path Numbers video. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out because I explain all about the year. I talk all about your number. So this is, you know, this is going to be an awesome time. It really is. It can be fantastic. What you want to remember is embracing your power while honoring the divinity in others. This is your mantra, not just like for this year or for this month, but all the time, Life Path 8, you need to embrace your power and honor the divinity in others. And how you can do that is by watching the measures that you take to take control of the situation. Are you taking on extra responsibilities so that you can have more control? And you may be doing this like unconsciously. Um, then it's also about watching other people and feeling like they're controlling you when they're not. You just feel out of control. That's where you need to step back and look at your contribution. Look at what you are contributing to this relationship, this project, this business, whatever, because I'm sure that you are. And there's probably people there telling you that you are contributing and that you're awesome, but you feel like somebody is telling you what to do and you're not having it. This is where you also need to remember that there is an infinite supply. There is an infinite supply of attention, of power, of money, of inspiration, of like vibrational energy coming in. You don't have to fight for your share. You do have to work for it. And I know you're not afraid to work for it, Life Path 8. I know you're not. This is where you can just sit back and go, okay, I put out some good stuff here. Like I'm going to reap what I've sown. I'm going to sit back and I'm not going to take control of somebody else's stuff. I'm not going to add that responsibility to me because I'm going to stay in my lane. This is going to be the year of you doing that. And while you're doing that, what you're going to see is a lot of, a lot of abundance coming into you that you've been asking for, that you've been like seeking. 
Are you seeking a, like a healthier lifestyle? Are you seeking like a financial increase with your job or with your company if you own a business? Are you seeking like a stronger relationship? It's all here for you, Life Path 8. It truly is. I think this is going to be a magnificent year. I tell you, I'm excited about this because I look back in 2015, pretty good year for me. Yeah, 2006, yep, pretty good year. So I think that this is, this is a really awesome way to kick off the year. Make sure that you're paying attention to Pluto because Pluto is moving into Aquarius in January for the next 20 years. And starting that off in an eight vibration, I feel, again, I feel like this is a good sign. So watch what's going on with Pluto. Watch like how the vibrational energy changes with Pluto being in an Aquarius, like in an air sign, and how it changes when Pluto goes retrograde in an air sign. I know, I know, but I'm telling you, I think this is going to be a magnificent year. A magnificent year. Okay, it has the potential for it, right? All right, so I'm reading from the card decks that I usually do. I cannot get this. Okay, here we go. The Healing Oracle Crystal Reading Cards and, of course, the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. The two, the two favorites here. And we'll see what kind of cards we get for you here, Life Path 8. I'm telling you. You and Life Path 44, it's like y'all are just bringing it in. And you are such an incredible manifester. You truly are Life Path 8. And I know I harped on that a lot in the For All Life Path Numbers video. But really and truly, this is a year for you to manifest and bring in what it is that you're looking for. And I just think that's wonderful. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what crystal card we pull for you. Ooh, tiger's eye. Oh my gosh, that's such a beautiful one. And I have a heart in tiger's eye. And sheep ready. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, tiger's eye. Very, very nice. Courage. What do you need courage for? You are courageous. You are. I love that eight energy. Oh my gosh. You seriously. I don't know why I decided to shuffle those cards that way. I don't usually shuffle the big decks that way. I shuffle them from the side. I'm going to say this wrong. Una, easy does it. Oh my gosh. Those cards match, by the way. Here. Can you see that? They match. Okay. So we'll start off with her. And easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Oh, that is so perfect for you this year. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect for you this year. Because you don't have to move in. You don't have to rush. You don't have to try and like take it all up because no one is taking your share. Remember, there's an infinite supply. Nobody is taking your share. Okay, tiger's eye, courage. The medicine of the tiger's eye encourages you to delve deep within your core to find true courage. This powerful stone works strongly with the solar plexus chakra. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite. And it assists you in bringing a balance, strength, and courage. That sounds weird. As it assists you in bringing a balance, strength, and courage. Yeah, that's what it says. 
It is a wonderful ally to call on when you require support, especially when learning to embrace courage. It allows you to see situations clearly and powerfully assists you in decision making. It allows you to open deeply to spiritual wisdom and live it on a day to day basis. It enhances courage and strength and allows you to stay focused on the task. <clears throat> Excuse me. It supports in challenging and confrontational situations and it supports in finding your inner strength, um, your inner truths, and draws from courage from your spirit to face challenges. And you guys know that, like, the reason why the solar plexus chakra is my favorite is because it's inner strength, personal power, and intuition in one very important energy center. And that's just, it's just Jennifer's favorite. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Life Path 8. I am so excited about this year. I really am. So don't forget to check out your uh, Zodiac readings for um, the full moon and the new moon. I know the new moon in um, new moon in Capricorn will be coming out shortly. And uh, some, I have some other awesome shows that are coming out this month. Again, very excited about 2024 and all the stuff that it is bringing. Okay, Life Path 8, until we see each other again, get out there and make your magic in a big way this year. Bye.